Why does a doctor need to know what sexual orientation you are? No. I mean, it's got nothing to do with them. And no. what difference is it going to make to anything they give you? And, you know, if you're not well or whatever, what difference is it going to make if they find out what sexuality you are? Yeah, it's, because... It's just, it's just so... It's so accepting nowadays, no matter what age you are at all. I mean, I know, like, my nephews, you know, it's it's so normal to say gay, straight, bisexual. They're, you know, he's six, J uh, Jakey, and he knows what it means. And I think that's wonderful. That's a generation that I want yeah. to be in, not, like, branded by the GP, you know. Well, I mean, things, of course, uh, it, it, there's lots of different research and everything else. This is another kind of version of it. This is at a, a university in Utah, and there has been a big, big study there by various very smart people, um, who say that women, as well as men, but women, are attracted to both sexes um, later on in life, and they're potentially putting it down to the menopause. So as women, we could have been with a man our entire lives, and it gets to that stage in your life where suddenly you can't tick that box anymore because suddenly your feelings have changed for whatever reason. I don't know like the, the research itself, but they are saying that that is happening more and more. More and more women are feeling, I don't need a man. I actually feel much more com or comfortable Maybe that's more with for companionship. Woman. That doesn't necessarily mean they'll be having sex together. It could, just could mean that they're good mates well, and exactly. they want you know, I don't think you things. should define relationships by sex anyway because um, you can't put a value on a relationship dependent on whether you have physical sex or not. But I do think that a lot of older people have a lot more sex than they perhaps uh, than people thought before. <laughs> I think a lot of my generation. <laughs> You know, no, we're not suddenly going to wither away and die and become like <laughs> all cobwebby because we've gone past 70. Um, 